going back to Nigeria after 10 years. This is Nigeria. This is the story. I left Nigeria at the age of 17 and I've lived outside the country for almost 10 years. I didn't just leave my country, I left the entire continent of Africa for far away Asia. I settled in China for 7 years. So you can call me Busaya the Explorer. While I was in China, I explored the culture there and I got very comfortable doing things I never imagined. I've lived in China for over seven years and I've brought you guys on some of my experiences here. Some of the things I did include eating frog. I'm a pro frog eater now. I visited Chinese locals in their homes and cooked traditional dishes with them. Smoke here right now. Jeez. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. I made my hair in a Chinese hair salon. That was bold. For context, the average Chinese hairdresser in China isn't familiar with 4C or Afro hair. You can eat it. Okay, let's go. Eat it. Let's so it was an experience guiding him on how to wash, condition, and straighten my hair. He was very willing to learn and familiarize himself. I learned how to use chopsticks. How? Can someone tell me how? <gasps> I succeeded! And to speak Chinese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One surprising thing I got accustomed to is drinking hot water even in the summer. Chinese people drink lots of hot water both in cold and warm weathers. One thing I didn't do before leaving China was attend a Chinese wedding. I'm still hopeful I'll get the chance to attend one in the future. After I left China, I moved to the UK for a year. I got excited as the UK is very diverse and there are countless cultures to explore. I definitely explored various cultures through street interviews. We are going to be doing this interview together. You want to go to five European countries? European countries? United Kingdom? Yeah. Belgium? Mm -hmm. Food. Do you want to go to a Romanian restaurant? Oh, that's cool, actually. So we're here. We go to see what we can uh, have. I'm excited, actually. Like, this is one of my best things to do. Like, eat food from, like, different cultures. Mm. <laughs> this is exactly... I think it's called gherkins, yeah? I'm not sure. What is it called in your language? Muraturi. Muraturi. Mm. Like pickles. Mm -mm. No. You don't like no. it? Too salty. No, it's too salty. It feels like vinegar. Mm -hmm. It's vinegar. Music, traveling, and having conversations. The same way I took you guys on my journey through China, I brought you guys along to the UK as well. I posted a few videos of my cultural experiences in England and out of England, but I couldn't post as much as I would have liked because the culture shock was a lot. I moved a few months before I clocked 25, and some of you know this age is symbolic. It's a transitional age to full awareness and a desire for clarity in life. As much as it's exciting to move to a new country, I feel like the depression and fear of the unknown is not talked about enough. It took a while adjusting. I posted a video about this on my channel, so you can go back to watch it immediately after this video. The link is in the description box. Even though the one year of my stay in England was one of the best years in my life, it was also one of the toughest. I was balancing school, work and YouTube, alongside falling in love and out of love. I say all these things with calmness, but the reality wasn't this calm. My mental health was at stake, and that was when I decided it was time to return back home. Talking about YouTube and social media, I started out here sharing about my life in China as a black person, and life in China in general. Those videos did great, 
and I'm thankful to you guys for that. Then a shift occurred after I left China. I had to figure out what content to create for YouTube. I tried different topics and ideas, mostly centering around cultures. I wanted something I will enjoy doing for a long time in order to be consistent and serve you guys with valuable content. An amazing thing happened in my last few months in England. Guess what? I finally figured out what type of content to create. I started street interviews and dates. I enjoy them so much and they are loaded with value. Then again, I decided to leave the country. I've come to realize that the most sustainable thing to do is center my videos around topics that are not location bound. Culture is universal and diverse. Every country and place has a culture. There are different ways of living and normalities across the world. What is normal in China might be unacceptable in England and vice versa. Same for every other country. While I was in Nigeria as a teenager, I didn't do much exploring. I grew up in southwestern Nigeria, which is populated by the Yoruba ethnic group. Nigeria is a West African country with over 250 ethnic groups spread across the 36 states within the country. These ethnic groups have their distinct cultures and traditions and make up Nigeria's population of over 200 million, which is the largest in Africa. Despite the current economic state, it is a country rich in culture, food, diversity, languages of which over 500 are spoken in the land. Due to the continuous decline in the economic situation of the country, Nigerians are trooping out of the country and so it's insane for me to return at this time. I choose to see the light in the country and to share this light with you guys through my videos. It is time for a new journey of exploring my own country's cultures, so come along with me. I packed my bags and clothes in England. Okay, so this is my, like one of my luggages here. I'm taking this one, I'm taking that one. My stuff are just so many and I don't even know. So I'm using this scale to measure my luggage. After packing, I headed to the airport. I said goodbye to my family and friends. They were kind to see me off. I got on the plane and flew to Nigeria. My parents picked me up at the airport and we headed home. All right guys, so I finally arrived in Nigeria and my parents came to pick me. This is my mom. Say hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> this is my dad. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I was looking forward to is the street food. How much? 500. So in Nigeria, we have people selling in traffic, different kinds of snacks. So in case you get hungry while traveling. One nut. That is your This is asala. Is a nut. How much is the big one? 1,000. Bring the small one. Oh. How much is the small one? Oh, yeah, bring change. Kilera. Like <laughs> Kilera. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Childhood memories. I remember when we were small. I will now open this time looking for the meat. It's not real meat, baby. <laughs> Sausage. It still tastes like gala, eh? I think the quality is now bad. There's no more meat inside. We drove from Lagos to Ondo State, which was about four hours by road. I unpacked my bags, but I was too tired to sort anything out. I had been traveling for over 24 hours non-stop. I went straight to bed and got up the next day to start my new life in Nigeria. Hey guys, this is day two of Nigeria, and today I'm going to get my SIM card. I'm here with my mom. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> in order to settle in, I have to get a SIM card. That's a Nigerian number and some other items. I have a Nigerian number now. My mom was kind enough to drive me around town, pending when I will learn how to drive and move around myself. We're now heading to the market to get some other stuff. So this one, not pretty on there. Okay, so I'm buying this one, and this is like 500 naira. I don't have glasses. One in a Versace, you. Okay, no, it's fine. Ah, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to buy some soya beans. Usually, when you go to buy green foods from Nigerian markets, they are usually measured in this container called Congos. All right, guys, now we are done from the market and we're going to like a supermarket to buy some other things as well.
okay so i'm back home now morning guys this is day three in nigeria and i went to open a bank account now we're going to eat some food like in an eatery say hi 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 <laughs> So this is Captain Cook. This is also Captain Cook, but they have like African food here. So let's see what they have actually. Which soup do you have? Okay, so this is Iwedu and Ata. It's made from Iwedu leaf, jute leaf. They will just remove the leaf. After removing the leaf, they will now boil it. After boiling it, then they will use a broom to mash it. Cast on to Iwedu as it. Thank you. The Iwedu is slimy, so it feels like okra. All right, that was 950 naira. The pounded yam was 300 for one wrap. And I had like Iwedu and a bottle of water. And I'm all done now. I feel full, very full actually. All right, guys, we are heading to the market now. We are going to get some some curtains and some household things so we're gonna see you guys when we are in the market we want to buy some fruit so this is like watermelon here yeah. bring watermelon well done, my dear right one. Okay. Okay. Oh, how's any? he's trying to find a good one for us yaki yeah. case yeah, they are getting uh, no i know sabi yeah. that one much. sabi how much one thousand this one one five hundred no 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 five hundred let me taste this one Thank you. This you are adding, I find now. Uh, thank I, you. So most times when you buy things in Nigeria, when they tell you one price, you have to beat it down because they are most likely giving you like the highest price ever, and you have to bargain and get like a cheaper price. Okay, we've actually arrived here. I'm gonna get like some wallpaper here. So they have like some floor mats here that I like. I like that one actually. I want something simple that has blue, like very plain, something very cheap. It's for inside wardrobe. What's the cheapest price you have? Three two. I don't want any pattern. I want plain. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'm settling for this color. It's quite, it's like, it's like gray, but it's nice. I want to do some mini renovations in my room, and that's why I'm buying this stuff. Like, change the curtain, put some wallpaper in the wardrobe, and some tiny little touches. I'm getting some curtains here, and these are like the fabrics. I'm not seeing the one I like yet. Like, actually, like different options, but I just don't want all these ones. They are patterned. I want something quite plain. To be honest, this was like calling my attention, I'm not gonna lie. It's very fancy, but it's just the pink. Like, I don't like the pink there. So that's the sad part there. So that's why I went for like this very, very plain blue. Plain. This is like a sample, that's why it's stained. I really hope it looks nice in the room. This is also not bad, to be honest. This is like very, very fancy. They've actually gone to sew the curtain. And when I get back home, I'm going to fit it into my room. One of the things I really love about Nigeria is the fact that you can customize your things. When other countries I've been to, most times you buy ready-made curtains. So yeah, this is an experience. This is my first few days in nigeria i'm excited for the new journey i'm about to share with you guys so make sure you subscribe like the video and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye